So in today's video, I wanted to do some holiday DIY nails. I'm not a professional, nor do I claim to be a professional, but I do like to do my own nails. And my personal go-to method is the Jollix method. It just lasts the longest on me. If you're familiar with the Jollix method, it's essentially where you take a soft gel tip like so. Usually they are clear. I'll talk about these in a little bit. And you adhere them to your nail using a like a nail glue it's not like a super glue nail glue like most people think it is more so like a base coat nail glue and I'm actually gonna be using the Unagella nail glue gel in a tube today because most nail glues for the Jellix method come in a bottle but I recently discovered this on Amazon and I have been really loving it just because it's it's in a tube it's a bit of a thicker formula and I feel like it flows a lot more consistent like it doesn't create air pockets and things like that i did review it in this video here if you guys want to check it out so that's what i'm going to use in today's video and then i'm also going to be using these tips here so these are from bt art box bt art box bt art box and i do love their press on nails in particular I've used several different types of their press on nails. They're really great, especially if you add a top coat. It just makes for like a really effortless, easy nail look. But they have a new arrival where they have like tinted soft gel tips. Very similar to the Apre brand. I say Apre, I could be butchering it, killing it, but the A-P-R-E-S Apre. Apre Ski, isn't it Apre, right? They have something called like their neutrals where their original soft gel tips kind of have like a pigment to them. They do require longer cure time because they are not clear i know there's a trend going around on tiktok where people use press on nails and they try to do the same thing with that i would say be very careful because the glue that you are using to adhere it to your natural nail needs to be cured with a uv lamp uv led lamp and you want it to cure all the way otherwise you can run into things like develop developing an allergic reaction so if you have a nail tip that is opaque and it's not allowing the light to penetrate through all the way it might not be curing all the way you might be fine now you might develop an allergy later you just want to be very very careful so even with this i'm going to give it a try and we will see you can glue these on with regular nail glue if you wanted to but this is what i'll be using in today's video i saw a photo on pinterest and i really liked the nails so i wanted to kind of like replicate it it's like a very light pink base a little bit more baby pink than the ones i have here it just seemed like a really fun holiday nail look so i'm gonna go ahead and try to replicate this look here so i'm just waiting for it to like there you go it has like some snowflakes with white this one's like super chunky sparkly glitter and this one's like that glazed donut look that was all the rave this summertime and i do have a like a glitter powder right here that i got on amazon as well for one of the nails i have my glazed donut type chrome powders here that i bought earlier in the year and then i also have this unagella gel art polish which you do have to cure but it's like a fine well not that fine but like kind of like a fall, fine point to allow me to create like those snowflakes and whatever it is design that I want to create. This came in a pack of two. I'll link everything that I'll be using down below, including the nail tips. BT Art Box did send me these right here, these peachy pink ones right here, which I'll be using in today's video. And then I bought the darker brown ones myself on Amazon. I think they're like $14 or so, and I believe they have one or two more shades. I really like the packaging. It's just very easy to store and to use. You don't have like all these million little baggies everywhere that are super confusing. It comes in a tray like like this you take them out and there's a few layers of different sizes right here once you take it out you'll see it's not as opaque as it looks in the tray just because they're all stacked together you can see through them the light should still be able to penetrate through these like I'm looking at them and I can literally you can see right through them but do you see like I'm placing it over this spot right here and you can still see it underneath so you should be fine as long as the light is able to penetrate through and just make sure you cure it fully I'm gonna give it an extra cure even just to be sure but these tips are great in particular because they're kind of like a one-and-done deal they are pre buffed on top so there's no need for a base coat you can do a base coat if you want but you can just apply your top coat right on top and you are done once you apply them there's no really no need to apply gel polish on top if you're looking for like a nude nail look this is a great kind of like one and done deal but i'm going to be using this as my base for my christmas nails i did already go ahead and kind of like prep my nails a little bit buff the surface a little bit cleaned up the cuticles i have my una Gela lamp right here as well and this lamp is great because it just makes it so easy to hold the nail tip in place while being able to cure and i'll show you guys what i mean by that but i don't think this lamp is strong enough so i would do recommend having a 
like a regular, not salon quality, but like one of these to fully cure them afterwards, just to make sure that your gel products are completely cured. The last thing that you want is like uncured gel products. So just always be careful and make sure you follow the instructions and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna start off with my protein bond and adhesive primer. The products that you might use to do your own gel method nails might be different, but my main focus on today's video is sharing about these nail tips right here and how they're just so easy for like an effortless one and done type nail look. First thing I would recommend is to go ahead and size out your nails. And this is an important step because you don't want a nail form to be too small. You also don't want it to be too big. The cuticle portion is nice and thin. And if you bend it, it's not gonna create that white crease. While the tip has quite a sturdiness to it. Like it's pretty sturdy, it's not super flimsy. But I do still like to use a top coat that really helps to strengthen the nail. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with my protein bond and apply that to all of the nails. I'm gonna let that dry out and I'm gonna go in with my adhesive primer. Your pro again, your products might look different. This is just part of a kit that I already had, a premium jelly quit, quit, a premium jelly kit. With the adhesive primer, you wanna be sure to kind of not get it on the skin. That's all that I'm gonna do for nail prep. Nail prep is important. Before I went ahead and did the primer and the bond, I cleaned up the nail cuticle area, all of that, and then you could go in with either isopropyl alcohol or a dehydrator that helps to get rid of excess oils. And now for the fun part is applying the nail tips. Oops, I accidentally turned the lamp on. So I'm gonna start off with the thumb. And again, I love this glue gel in a tube. It is thicker consistency, but it's just so easy to use. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit at the base here. Make sure you keep your glue away from the lamp. You don't want that product to cure. So I have a little bit on there right here. It's not oozy, it's a little bit thicker. And then starting from the cuticle, you're gonna push upwards. And another reason why I really like this formula is because it kind of spreads out so nicely and doesn't really leave any ear pockets. And then you're gonna go ahead and tap that lamp and cure it until the lamp turns off. This is what it looks like when it's done. Very, very simple. Let me go ahead and quickly do the other nails. All done with this hand right here super easy and quick you can honestly leave them like this if you wanted to you don't even have to add a top coat if you don't want to the tip is pretty sturdy nail tips themselves have a really good apex the cuticle area looks very realistic like they're not super flat or anything i think they did a really good job with these tips in general for me these are a little bit too long for my liking so i am going to file them down and shape them a bit i just prefer my nails to be a little bit shorter than this it's just a little bit more comfortable for my everyday if a little bit of that nail glue oozes out that's okay this formula is very like jelly it doesn't dry down super hard like other formulas and it's very easy to peel off around the sides it's just like a very interesting very interesting nail glue. So far, it's definitely my favorite that I've used when it comes to the Jalex method. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this hand and then shape and file both of them and then show you guys what it looks like once I go ahead and kind of like shape them up a little bit.
right, this is the finished look right here. I'm actually very happy with how it came out. The nail art, my hands are like so shaky, so it was definitely a lot harder for me to do the nail art, something that I have to work on. I'm definitely a newbie, um, but I really like the loose glitter powder. It's exactly as I thought it would be. It's like the nice chunky glitter. So what I did is I had a, used a top coat and then just put it on top and then cured it. This, I used the gel nail pen cured it and then added a top coat on top and then the chrome powder I applied on top of a cured top coat and then added another layer of top coat on top so I hope that makes sense just wanted to share a fun DIY holiday nail for anybody interested using these lightly colored gel nail tips from BTA Art Box I'll link everything that I use down below for anybody interested but these in and of itself I haven't done this hand yet they're just great if you wanted to keep them like this super easy way to get long lasting like neutral nail tips and they do come in different colors so I will link these down below. I have not used the brown one yet. I'm sure that one looks really awesome as well. But yeah, that's my video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye.